So now we have administrative tools for our users and for our products. Now the third type of content we wanted to be able to work with through the database and to be able to use CRUD tools for are our pages. Now we could just do the same thing we did with products and basically copy and paste this entire code set in our products.php file or users.php file and change every instance of the word product to page and update the fields. But let's take this opportunity to generalize our code so we can begin to use it for any type of content. Now, if you went through this process manually, it would be a great exercise. It would take a bit of time and you'd probably end up making some mistakes along the way, but it's a great way to see what's similar between the different files. Now, what we'll do here is just copy some files over, just like we have in the past to save some time, and we'll explore how we've adapted this code to work with any type of content. Now, there's a couple of benefits to this. One is that we'll be centralizing our content in one place, meaning that we can quickly spin up other types of content later on by just applying a set of configuration to the script. And secondly, if we want to add some new features or configuration to all of our editing scripts, for example, we want to paginate the results or allow the user to change the order of the results on the listing pages, then we can add that in a single place and it will propagate to all of our lists of content.